It's the aftermath. Wasn't sure we would get this. I don't think he's going to do it, though. Although the show continues to surprise. Oh, my God. That's one. <laughs> oh, she's really going along with it. <laughs> this man does not know what to do with himself. But to have a stroke. It's, this is the best moment of his life. This is the greatest moment of Denji's life. And this is only the beginning, my friend. <laughs> She's not the only one who's lost all motivation. If he finds out he can do this without his job, that's it. It's a real dilemma. <laughs> Yeah, I told you. I told- I knew he wasn't going to be satisfied with that, obviously. Kind of suspected that it wasn't going to end there. This is the beginning of an arc. It's a metaphor for life, you see. Her bosom is the, the start of the adventure. To quote a great firebender, he can imagine the end, but he cannot fathom the depths of the ocean. And they're living in the same house. They're living in the same house. Shell-shocked. Is there any motivation left? Is there any motivation for him left? I love that such a profound concept was brought out by breasts. <laughs> it's just not a... Again, that's the double-edged sword of achieving anything. A man needs purpose, and purpose in many cases is a, is a more divine thing than can be brought about by any sort of circumstance, because I think we're naturally wired to, to grow and climb. It's just that Denji's climbing women, climbing Mount Boob. Oh, he told her! It wasn't that great! What are you talking about? That is the hardest thing to believe in this show so far, in a show about a man with chainsaws for hands. Run, Denji. I'm so on edge right now, and I don't even know why. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm not sure this is appropriate workplace behavior. <laughs> but uh, she's good good at motivating her employees. We just went for it. Or she just made him go for it. This guy's on a roll. <laughs> Two in one, one day? Two days? Of course. You can ask for whatever you want. Take whatever you need. I would die for you. I mean, I gave up my left testicle for five dollars, so give up a lot more for this. Of course, in America. <laughs> Gun devil. I hope it wears an American flag and is red, white, and blue, and looks like an eagle. What's in it for us, though? <laughs> What's in it for Denji? Here it is. Any wish. We are really climbing this corporate ladder. Yes, that's, that's what you said. I'm like a little bit skeptical though. I'm skeptical. For some reason, Makime doesn't seem like the most trustworthy individual. Just don't tell HR. This is terrible. This is just really abusive workplace behavior. I think I need to know where this kind of thing exists, where this kind of sexy boss exists, because I need to protest it. I've heard before that good dreams, good goals should be in the present progressive, like I am doing something, rather than hitting an endpoint. Not that that's bad, it's great because it requires growth and hard work, etc. Learning about yourself and about the world, but there will inevitably be a future question about what's next, you know, what fulfills that feeling of drive to expand. Okay, we're getting very real here. Are we going to America? That would be amazing though. What if we went to New York? What? You're the one who invited us out here in the first place. Then what? What? <laughs> this is all way too innocent for it not to be dangerous. If the most powerful demons are the things you're most scared of, I feel like the most powerful demon in anime should be having a good time. There, there it is! <laughs> right on schedule, right on cue. 
That's crazy to think about in terms of the system. But yeah, the, the more devils there are, the more powerful all of them get. Is that a bad pun? Pieces of gun devil. It's like a cursed item. So it's kind of like a fetch quest. I feel like she's she's collecting something of her own. What was the thing they said last episode? Some kind of flesh or something. Oh wait, we're, they were talking about gun bits. Is this it? Was it gun flesh? It was building up to this, I guess. She's sort of letting Denji into her, her bigger plan. It's pretty crazy to think that Gun Devil will be stronger than Bat and Leech Devil who are pretty insane in their own right. That's him! Oh my god. That explains a bunch. Yeah, you're about to eat your words, most likely. Send them in first. They're just pawns. They don't even care. This guy's just worn out. He once lived a, a peaceful and quiet and clean and feces free existence, but no more. Imagine if he finds out that Makima bit Denji's finger. Whatever prize you're going to offer is going to pale in comparison. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, we found out who likes her. What is with this this workplace and these employees? I guess it all, it all trickles down from the top. Yep. Remember why you're here, Denji. I feel like we skipped some bases there, but alright. That's kind of wholesome. Thank you, Makima. Yeah, who are you? <laughs> she hasn't really been introduced yet. And that's when she started liking Denji. Yeah, we can still do a little, a little better. This poor man. All his hopes and dreams shattered. <laughs> Yeah, we get it. It's obvious. So they're also rookies. Go private, that's interesting. Interesting. We got a very complex love web here. So they go way back. She experienced a tragedy of her own. That gives them a lot in common. Yikes. Speaking of it feeling better when you know each other, it probably has a different meaning or at least depth saying it now as opposed to the first time. How did you know that? No thanks. Whoa, what is her power? That was quick. She almost died. She might not make it. Contracts, right. The ghost devil, interesting. That's gotta be a powerful one, no? I'm also really liking this whole idea of like sacrificing something, making a deal with it. What? They just retrace their steps? What is it, like a maze? Getting lost devil. Denji, my man, you have so many great things to look forward to in your life. <laughs> it's like the Mob Psycho ghost train. And a new ending again. This time with the, the cadets, the rookies, and horse. What does it mean? What does it mean? I actually, I'm sort of taking their warning to heart, and I'm not sure I want to get attached to any of the characters that are not Denji in power and Aki. Yeah, this is sufficiently bizarre, as usual. 
And another horse-ish thing, a centaur. These are really cool. All these are landing, amazingly. They're all really visually interesting. And mechanical horse or something. And the infinite staircase. Staircase demon. So that was a really fun episode, if low-key. I mean, I get it. After episode three and four, the animators desperately needed some time to heal their, their wrists. This episode was extremely sexual, but then in what is becoming true Chainsaw Man form, it's kind of great because I at least can tap into a lot of the, the feelings, but also it's just a, a life's journey. It's a life's path and the challenges of finding meaning told in a very sexual way. Denji's question to Makima hits pretty hard. A lot of the time you don't even know what it is you're chasing. And that has a way of being revealed if you're lucky enough to get what you're chasing. There also can be something about getting what you want that can derail you. I think more than I've heard admitted at least, as I've mentioned before in this series, I think a lot of more complex goals and a lot more than that, you know, just internal state and insecurities and wishes for oneself can be boiled down to the social, the romantic, the material comfort. Not that that's all there is. I just think that's that's more common than is immediately apparent. And I think it's really hard to go beyond that to a point of like service or real deep inner peace or self-actualization or, or what have you with those questions kind of unanswered you know the, the base thing sort of feeling like they're in jeopardy or in, in a state of total lack a lot of people stay there for a very long time there are just a lot of pitfalls in that you know another one is i had this experience with dating although it might be weird to say i just found myself in a certain period of my life having just a, a lot of dating options a lot of romantic options and i feel like it kind of derailed me and kept me stuck a little bit because it was sort of like why bother with the other stuff if i have this thing that i'm, I'm so wired for available to me at all times which is kind of scary because sometimes these things end up being circumstantial and temporary and generally speaking if you're not growing you're dying or you're setting yourself up for a fall. Denji is, is navigating all of this as like a wide-eyed teenager-like person where he's got so much potential there's so much he can do. I believe at heart he's a, a solid person if you know really raw and unfiltered and young but he has all these temptations in the form of women especially Makima who understand the power it has over him and don't really seem to have his best interest at heart and will lead him down a dark path for their own selfish gains. So this is interesting turmoil in watching Denji that's very relatable immediately and just very fun. So I love how this show manages to capture all that in this really refreshing way. It's really great stuff.